Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum, guten tag, mein Freunden, and howdy y'all. So, you wondering why that music was playing in the beginning? It's because of this, this little music box that I picked up whilst I was in Canada. Now, I was talking to a recent subscriber uh, by the name of Greg, Greg Bouchard. Hello, Greg, how are you? Uh, we've talked many times and uh, messaged each other and stuff and he's a big enthusiast of vacuum cleaners and likes not just my videos that I put on but many other um, YouTubers as well um, that, that do this kind of thing. He enjoys watching all of them. So hello to you Greg. I hope you enjoy this one. So I'm going to be doing my Henry, sorry, my pneumatic George um, carpet shampooing and hard floor demonstration today. I'm going to pre-vacuum the floor with my Cibawatt Automatic X4 um, Boost, first of all, and then we're going to use this then to um, shampoo the carpet in the um, study, and also to use the scrubbing action on the scrub floor, on the, on the bathroom floor, the scrubbing tool, and then uh, going to use the, um, the smaller of the tools then on one of the, some of the stairs, just to see how it goes. So that's the plan of action for today. So I still don't know who bought me this absolutely amazing George so for Christmas. So thank you to whoever you are. If you would like to tell me um, who it was, it would be that would be very nice. So if you want to remain anonymous, that's fine too. But thank you very much. So I got all my tools that I need in this bag. Everything is inside, hoses, tools, attachment, and also the instructions. So what I need to do first is read the instructions on how to assemble it for um, carpet washing. But I'm gonna do a demo uh, using the SIBO Boost, first of all, on the carpet, and then we will do the shampoo video. So, before I get on with that, there's another mention I'd like to give as well. Well, first of all to uh, Henry Hoover TV. Hello, you guys, hope you're well. I hope you enjoy this video of uh, using George to shampoo the carpets because I know that you're big 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 fans of um, pneumatic vacuums Henry's and Hetty's and Edwards and George and James and everybody else under the uh, pneumatic uh, named um, so I hope you'll enjoy this video but I had a new subscriber yesterday now I love all my new subscribers I, I think you're all fantastic for supporting me thank you so much that's really nice but this one was a bit of a shock because I've watched many of his videos and it is uh, a guy from a channel called Performance Reviews. And he is a, um, I mean, it's his job to restore and review vacuums. You know, he, he does it at home, he has a workshop at home, and then he also works as well um, in a store, uh, in a vacuum store in the States somewhere. So I'm not sure of his name, but uh, he subscribed to my channel yesterday, which is kind of like, it's a bit of an honor really, a bit of a surprise because this guy's a professional. He knows these vacuums inside and out. Mila's, Filter Queen's, um, Simplicities, um, you know, all of them that you can get in the States. He is an expert on them because that's his job. So thank you very, very much for subscribing. I, I know you're gonna be horrified with a lot of my videos because I do a lot of tinkering and I, I'm, it's my learning process um, on how to repair these things. and use them and demo them and restore them so please bear with me i am an absolute amateur so but thank you very much for subscribing i hope you enjoy the content so thank you very much to him um so yeah so i think now we should crack on with uh, the first of all the vacuuming okay so i have you here attached to the SIBO. Now it's gonna vibrate a lot and be a bit loud, but it's quite interesting so you'll see the lights operating. So I'm gonna start doing it in normal just for a patch and then I'm gonna push the boost on.
So there we go. I have thoroughly seaboed the floor. Uh, somebody asked me um, how I did the filming, and it's be this. I bought this selfie stick from Poundland, um, and what I liked about it was it had a rubber cover on it, and then I have these strips of double backed uh, Velcro that I use to attach it to the handle or the shaft or, or to any part of the vacuum that stays still and then that's how I can film so there we go little behind the scenes then anyway so it is thoroughly seaboed and you can see there are some stains that need to be removed so we will test it with the George so the first thing I'm going to do is put this away and read through the instructions of George and get him all set up and ready for wet floor washing. Okay, so I've got the water in there. Uh, that tube seems awfully tight. Um, I've had to pull a little bit out of it, but it does seem tight into it. So, I don't know. Um, but I can't get the screw off to put the hose on because it's too tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to go into the garage or go downstairs and get a little spanner thing and then see if I can unscrew this because I, I can't unscrew it tight. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. It's very loose now, thankfully, so I can attach it on. Okay, done. We are set up. Let me move the tools out of the way. Get the cord hooked on him for a second. And let's take him into the room that he's going to use to clean. Okay, so I got him switched on. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just prime the head. Okay, so he's done that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a patch underneath here. So let me move you over. And I'm going to do it up from up here. And then what I'll do is I'll put the camera on the hose lower. So you can see exactly what it's like when it's picking up. So I'll just do this little area underneath here.
Okay, I can't really see much because the carpet's light. So let's take a closer look. Well, it's damp, it's not wet. I'd say it's a little bit damper than what it is using my Vax Dual V. And it doesn't have the spinning action, the scrubbing action, obviously, that that doesn't. That that, sorry, that that has. But it certainly has brought up the pile. It smells lovely. The solution smells really nice. So this is a well-trodden area. So it's brought up the pile, as you can see. So it hasn't done too bad a job. Still not as good as my Dual V Advance, but it's still done a good job. So I'm going to attach you to the hose and we'll crack on with the rest. <laughs> Okay, it's a bit of a harder workout than it is. I just picked, it's not super wet, wet. I did put plenty of solution down, so it did, uh, it did do a good job. Still some stains there, which I think will be pre needs to be pre-treated. Uh, right, let me reposition the camera and we'll carry on.
well, it's definitely more, uh, it's definitely a workout using it, I'll tell you that. It's one way to get fit. Now what I was doing there was pre-treating a couple of the little stains that were there. So, I think, oh there's one there. That's it for, for stains. So what I've done, I've just sprayed a little bit of solution on there to pre-treat it. And what I found is good is pressing the trigger to go forward, releasing the trigger to go back. It doesn't seem to pick up much on its pull back. It's when you go back forward on it, that's when it sucks it up. So that's when it seems to do its, its better suction is when you're going forward on it after you've wet it. Or if you've got a big stain like this, you just keep going back and forth. But there's no brushing action on this, so it's a bit more of a workout. So I've pre-treated these stains and I'm gonna crack on, but I'm gonna do it in time-lapse because it'll be really boring for you. I know I'm unfit, but jeepers creepers, look at me. That is an absolute nightmare to use. It is so hard. And I'll show you why. Okay, so the trigger is quite low down. So you can't hold it here. You have to hold it here and then press the release button for the water. Right, let me lower you down. There we go. So you have to have two hands, right? So when I'm pushing forward... It's digging into the carpet. So every time I go, I've got to undig it and then push it along with the water spray in, push it back, and then push it forward with the trigger off to suck up the water and it gets stuck. And it's not even deep pile carpet. I'm not even pressing down that hard. It's just using this. I'm finding it really, really, really hard. It's like going back in time. I don't like using it on carpets, I'm sorry. I do not like using it on carpets, and I'll show you. There was, I don't know, I'm going to have to look in to see if there's some sort of different type of head on it. But that, that is really, really hard work. It hasn't got rid of any of the stains, even with pre-treating with the solution. The carpet has it's brought the pile up. It's definitely freshened it up, but it is no way as deep down as cleaned like my... Um, Vax Dual V Pro, which I'm going to use on it. Next, just to show how easy it is to use than this. So I am going to carry on with the other demonstrations. Cheap as creepers, but I need to cool down first because I'm sweating like a pig. So where it's going to redeem itself, I think, is on this tiled floor using the dual squeegee and scrubbing brush. Now, I don't know if you can see, I'm holding it at hip height and this you have to lower it down to actually get the scrubbing action which i think is going to be a lot of blooming 
stooping down so I don't quite like that it's, I've got to put the up normal height down for scrubbing right okay let's crack on it has even though I had to stoop down a bit for some scrubbing action it definitely did a good job so I'm just going to finish off doing the rest of this bathroom floor
Okay, so that was definitely a lot easier whilst I was doing the hard floor, the tile floor. So I had a really, really good job. Got in all the grout areas and got bits of talc and fluff and dirt and stuff that doesn't normally come out with the... Well, the Bissell Crosswave cleans it, but that's got a far harder brushing power to really get in the grout and clean it. So it's done a really, really good job. It's pulled up, I would say, almost all of the moisture on the floor. There's just a little bit where it needs to dry. Uh, so, yeah, it's done a very, very good job. Now, the last little test I'm going to do before we empty it out is to have a go on the stairs. Now, I'm only going to do one stair. And then I'm going to get the pre, uh, the um, Vax Pro-V and uh, do the study again with the Pro-V and see how that compares to using the George. So let's get set up to do a step. So you find me here on the top step. So I'm going to just do this one step because I find my Bissell spot clean a lot easier for doing it on stairs. So I'm just going to do this one for the demo. And what I'm going to do as I got it connected up to here, is literally just spray some solution on the stairs. There's no brush or anything on this, it's straight suction. So I'm gonna spray some solution and then suck it up and then go over it again. All right, so it's gonna be a bit loud, so be warned. Right, I've just noticed that there's water coming out of the top of the vacuum cleaner. Why? Now, for some reason, there's water coming out of it. The ball hasn't gone off. So I wonder why that is happening. Now, the inside tank is not full. There's carpet fibers stuck to that. Hmm. Personally, I don't like this mesh. I'm gonna take this mesh off. There's water getting in there. The ball isn't lifting up. Why is it not lifting up? Let's try it without this mesh thing on. <laughs> no, there's still water coming out of it. Why is that? There's water in the inside of it. Why is that? Right, that is the end of the demonstration, I'm afraid, because there's no way I'm switching this back on with water coming out of the back of it. So, this has not been a good demo so far, is it? Right, let me go get my um, my other one. Okay, so I've left poor George in the sink drying. And all the bits there in the bath, which I will clay clean out and dry out. If anyone can tell me why it was doing that, I'd like to know because I can't work out why there was water coming up into this motor unit. I can't work out why. Okay, let me go set up the... Um, the other carpet shampoo or the um, Vax okay. DOV. So we have pulled out the big boy. And this is my Dual V Advance from Vax. <clears throat> Let's get cracking. I'm going back over the floor that I did with Henry to see if I can get rid of the stains. Okay, let's give it a go. This is loud, so turn your speakers down.
I've done that patch, I am going to be putting it on Max Extract and pushing the button. Okay, so I'm going to crack on with the next part. Back to wash, turn off the max extract. Okay, I need to top up with water. Okay, so that is done. That's a crack on.
Okay, so that's the pitch change. But the tank is full. It's not that dirty, as you can see. It's not too bad. I do think that the um, the first wash I did with the um, George definitely got the most of the muck up. So let me just go and empty this. The water wasn't that dirty, to be honest. Okay, let's put the tank on. Crack on. This way, let's lift you up so you can see the carpet. Okay, headphones to the ready. So, the negative thing about this I can say is I wish that there was some sort of indication that your water has run out. You just have to keep looking. Right. I'm going to go over that again because I'm not sure how blooming wet it got. Let's try again.
go and close the door. Okay, we're full again. This one is a bit dirty because I didn't do very good over this side with the um, George. So this uh, this water is dirtier. Yeah? Okay, that didn't take long. And there was the water was definitely dirtier. Okay. So that is this room done. What I'm going to do is prop this door open and we will quickly do the landing. I'm just going to get the cord out of the way. Right, let's do the landing.
not take very long, as you can see. I didn't pause the video there. I'm going to finish this off now on Max Extract. There we go. I've done the landing and I've done the study. That did lighten up some of the stains a little bit, but uh, I think I'm going to have to use my spot, Bissell spot cleaner for that. But uh, what the George didn't pick up, this did. And I do find this so much easier to use than the George. The George was very good, but blimmin' heck, it was hard work. This is easy. This is just pushing and pulling a trigger all in one go. A lot um, user-friendly, I find, to wash the carpets with. So I'm sorry, George, but uh, the Vax Dual V Advance definitely wins. Okay, so what I've decided to do uh, whilst I have the fax out is I'm going to do this room in here, this guest room in here. So I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to put you on time lapse.
Okay, so there we go. That is all the carpets done on the attic floor. Now, earlier in the year, I did a duo P demo on this carpet before I transferred the vacuums down to the um, Hoover room, which is now downstairs. And uh, this did need a carpet shampoo in because the duo P powder didn't do anything. But uh, still one or two stains, but they're not going to come off. I've tried everything with it, including Oxy Boost liquids and everything. So there we go. But it's done a really good job. The carpets now are lovely and fresh. They smell lovely and fresh. The pile has been revitalized in them as well. So what I need to do now is just to wait 24 hours for it all to dry. And then I will use my Kirby G4 to remove any of the particles because the liquid that I use to wash the carpet is actually Kirby liquid. Um, I find it very, very good. So I use the Kirby liquid in with the machine and tomorrow I'm going to use the Kirby to the Kirby G G4 um, to pick up any stray fibers and bits or whatever. So anyway, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. Very interesting demo, I have to say. I was a bit disappointed. I did find the George really not very user friendly to use on carpet. It was brilliant on hard floors and I'm going to do a hard floor demo downstairs on the laminate and the tiles in the utility room. But as for carpet shampooing, I really don't know. It was just too much like hard work. You had to bloody scrub and scrub and scrub at it. I'm going to wash all these parts out. George is going to get a bit of a bath. I'm going to clean up this. I need to find out why that was leaking through into the motor. I think it should be fine. There's no major damage done to it, I can see here. So I'm just going to let it dry here for a couple of days um, before I put it back on, but I'll clean all this later. And also I will clean the bags as well, because now that's going to need a good scrubbing. Get rid of the tank. Get rid of the tank. There we go, I can remove the... I can't remember how you do this now. I'll have to have a look at the instructions as a way of removing this. And it is very easy, I just can't remember how to do it. Okay, so anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and thank you very much. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.